What's good y'all, it's Scott Hoho here and welcome to day five of the Apartment Gym series where I take you through a full week of training in my apartment gym. If you haven't already, check out the previous videos and I promise you some of you can copy paste these workouts into your routine. Today, we're working out shoulders and arms and with that, let's get to the workout. Let's go. Why you out at top, boy you what you need? All right, so for our first exercise of today, we got the Smith Machine shoulder press. If you guys have watched some of the previous videos in this series, you should know by now that I like to start with the Smith Machine because I'm able to load it heavy enough to where I can actually achieve failure. However, if I did have dumbbells that were heavy enough, I would choose the dumbbell shoulder press variation. Again, this is the apartment gym series, so this is what we're starting with. Let's get it. to our second exercise of the day. All right, so for our second exercise of today, we're gonna to be doing some cable lateral raises. And the reason why people prefer the cable variation over the dumbbell variation is because you can actually bias the stretch portion of the movement. But what does that mean? So when you do dumbbell lateral raises, the peak resistance is gonna be up here where your shoulder is the most shortened. However, for cable lateral raises, the peak resistance is gonna be down here where the shoulder is stretched. So in that sense, the cable variation is known to be more optimal than the dumbbell variation. However, I'll always caveat to do the variation that works best for you. And one last thing, in order to really bias the stretch portion of the movement, you want to bring this notch up to hand height. Once you do that, you're good to go. For the third exercise, we got cable rear delt flies. I like to go low weight, higher reps on this exercise, so that's what we're gonna do. And with that, let's get it. Wow. So if you noticed, even when I start to fail and I can't do a full rep, I'll try to bang out a couple extra reps, even if they're half reps. The scientific term for those is partials, which is an intensity technique that allows you to work past failure. But with that, let's move into our fourth exercise of today. So for our fourth exercise of today, we're gonna be moving into biceps, the preacher curl. So if you don't have a preacher curl machine, an easy workaround is using an adjustable bench. You can set it around 45 degrees and do these unilaterally, and I'll show you how right now.
Wow. Show me the chicken, I'm frying it. Uh, show me the dough and I'm frying it. Uh. All right, so for our fifth exercise of today, we're doing some dumbbell hammer curls. Some people like to do hammer curls across their body like this. Personally, I like to do hammer curls straight up like this. The only difference here in these two variations is your shoulder internal or external rotation. The movement, whether it's going inwards or straight in front of you, is gonna be the same. Personally, I think a more natural movement is keeping them straight because it aligns with our natural anatomy of the shoulders. So, that's what I'm gonna do today. Let's get it. With that, let's move into triceps, come on. So for our sixth exercise today, we're gonna to be doing some overhead cable tricep extensions, and we're also gonna be supersetting this movement with some tricep kickbacks. I like pairing these two because in the overhead position, the long head of the tricep is gonna be fully stretched, and in the tricep kickback, the long head is gonna be shortened in this position. So with that, let's finish it out, baby, come on. And that concludes our shoulders and arms day today. Let's go upstairs and wrap up the apartment gym series. <sighs> All right, y'all, sad day. That concludes the apartment gym series. And honestly, it's been fun. I gotta show you exactly how I've been training for the last couple of months here. Just wanted to show that even with limited equipment, you can still get your workouts in and structure them in a way where it's still efficient. But genuinely, if you guys are still watching and you guys have been along this apartment gym series, I appreciate you guys so much. I don't know exactly what's in store for this YouTube channel just yet. But I'm just gonna try to document as much as I can and try to entertain you guys in some way, whether it be fitness or my personal life as well. So if you haven't yet, please like, comment, subscribe, and support if you can. And also check out the links in the description below to support me. And with that, I'll see you guys at the next one. Peace.